Hey everyone, it's Marcus with the Best Buy blog. Today I'm going to be reviewing this. This is a DaVinci 1.0 Pro 3D printer by XYZ Printing. I'm going to be talking about its build, setup, printing performance, and of course, sharing my final thoughts. Let's start off here by talking about the build. The DaVinci 1.0 Pro is not a small printer. It weighs in at 50 pounds and its dimensions are 20 inches high, roughly 18 inches across and 22 inches deep. The body is entirely plastic and there are two doors that provide users access to the interior. The first door is on the front here giving users access to the printing bed and the second door is on the top here giving users access to the printer cartridge as well as any maintenance to the machine. Both doors do need to be closed in order for this printer to operate. Looking at the interior of the DaVinci 1.0 Pro, you will see a change of materials. The printing components are almost entirely made of metal, making this feel very solid and durable. Let's move on to the setup. This printer is designed for people with experience with 3D printers and therefore has some advanced features. Because of this, the setup process does take a little more time than entry level 3D printers. In my case, the entire setup process took about 30 to 45 minutes. Setup involves installing the printing filament and calibration of the printing bed. The calibration process can be lengthy since the printing bed needs to be perfectly level and can take multiple calibration attempts. In my case, I went through about three calibration attempts before the printer bed was finally perfectly level. On to connectivity. You can connect to the DaVinci 1.0 Pro in two ways either using a USB-A cable or through Wi-Fi. In either case, you're going to need to install the XYZ Wear Pro software on your PC or Mac. Once the software is installed, you can easily tell the printer which wireless network to connect to. Now you all might be wondering, how does the DaVinci 1.0 Pro do when it comes to printing? Well, once you've completed the setup process, creating 3D prints on the DaVinci 1.0 Pro is straightforward and easy. The DaVinci Pro is capable of printing with PLA, ABS, HIPS, and PETG filaments. In my testing, I use PLA filaments with the standard 200 micron resolution. To make a 3D print, you do need an SLT file and the XYZ Wear Pro software. Once you have your SLT file, you can load it into the XYZ Wear Pro software and hit print. Printing times can vary based on the size of the object that you're trying to print. For example, this little smartwatch stand here is about 2 inches high, 3 inches deep, and 2 inches across. It took me about 2.5 hours to print this stand. Another example here is the XYZ keychain. It's about 0.7 inches high, 3 inches wide, and 1 inch deep. This took about 1.5 hours to print. So how about the printing sound? In terms of sound, the DaVinci 1.0 Pro does make some noise when printing. This is about the same amount of noise that you would expect from a regular 2D printer. In my 800 square foot space, I was clearly able to hear the printer while it was running. That being said, I didn't find the noise to be too distracting or overly loud. So you may be wondering, how's the print quality? During my testing, I printed about 10 different sample objects. Overall, objects printed by the DaVinci 1.0 Pro had good detail. Occasionally, there were some rough edges and some filament strings. However, this is normal for 3D printers. There are dedicated tutorials online that show users how to do touch-ups and finishing of 3D printed objects. All right, time for my final thoughts. The DaVinci 1.0 Pro is an excellent 3D printer that produces good quality 3D models. As someone who's new to 3D printing, I had no issues setting up and using this printer. After all the setup, printing 3D objects on the DaVinci 1.0 Pro is a breeze. I had a blast with this printer and I found myself actually looking for any excuse to print new objects on this printer. If you're looking for a 3D printer and have the space, I highly recommend checking out XYZ's DaVinci 1.0 Pro. Well, that's all for today, everyone. If you'd like to know more about the DaVinci 1.0 Pro, you can check out my full review on the Best Buy blog. If you'd like to know what else I'm up to, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at PewX31 or on Facebook and YouTube at PewX3. Thanks again, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.